We bought the cheapest magnet fishing magnet we could find on Amazon. You can see right there, $3.29. <laughs> now, I do have to say that one disclaimer, um, I ordered the cheapest one I could find with free shipping because I didn't feel like paying shipping for a cheap magnet fishing magnet. There were cheaper ones, but the $3.29 one that you see there is what we have in here in the box. So let's check it out. And All right. Not much to it. There it is right there. <laughs> There's our $3.29 magnet. There it is, that is it. It says it's an 80 pound pull magnet, just to give some size comparison. This is uh, Tucker's that he got for Christmas. This is a 1200 pound pull magnet right there. And uh, we did an unboxing of this and we've done some videos of this, but here, look at the size of the two there. <laughs> Now, the first problem I see with this one is that it did not come with a rope. So I'm going to have to use the rope from my old, our original magnet fishing magnet, which was a 500 pound pole. Um, and uh, so even there, you can see the size there. There's the 500 pound pole. So, whoops, now I got it stuck. Well, that came right off real easy. So <laughs> we're going <laughs> to... Let's stick it to that 1200 pound. We're gonna test this out. We're gonna head up to the lake where we've done some magnet fishing before. And we're gonna see um, how it performs. Uh, my guess is not well. Tucker, what's your guess? No. no, not well. Let's try the refrigerator test. I got it on the refrigerator. There we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can pull it right off real easy. So I'm not holding out much hope for our $3.29 magnet. I'm going to do one more test on this flat metal surface. Because I do, if you, you've seen before, I've, I've put my 500 pound one on here and I can't get it off. I have to hammer it off. So let's do this and see. Alright. Sounds like it's got a nice... Oh, actually... Yeah, actually, that's that is hard to get off of there, huh? Yeah, so maybe, maybe we'll see. We'll see. Well, let's go put it to some real world tests now. Okay, we've been here before. People drop a lot of lures and stuff here, so I got my setup for my cheap magnet right here, and those are boat launch. Um, docks right there. Cut Tucker's down there. He's got his actual magnet. So let's just see if we can find anything here with this. I'm just going to drop it down in the edge here and see. Let's come down here. Nothing. Nope, nothing. Let's keep let's keep trying.
I cannot imagine that you could catch much on this at all. First of all, uh, this is too big, this eye hook. Keeps getting it all tangled up like that. Um, and second of all, this magnet is so weak and so small. If you hooked on anything of decent size, you would just <laughs> pull it right off. We'll keep trying a couple more tries here. I'm just going to try again going down through here. Just bobbing it up and down. In the weeds here. Oh, I did get something. Look at that. What'd I get? Oh, okay. There we go. Got a bolt. <laughs> okay. So he didn't get skunked. I got a bolt. <laughs> Let's put that right there. So maybe small items. I don't know. My concern is it's just such a small surface area that you almost have to just be right on top of it to get anything. Let's keep going down here and see. Oh, all right, hooked on to something else there, a, a chain. Now this will be a good test, cause that chain, is, yeah, see, that just popped right off. Let's see if I can try it again. Nah, yeah, <laughs> try it again. The slightest amount of pull resistance on it and it pops right off. So <laughs> if you had anything remotely any size whatsoever, I think you would have no chance of bringing it out of here. <laughs> oh, I think I got something. I think I got something else here. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. Got another screw. There we go. Hooked another screw. There we go. Let's... Okay, let's see. No, nothing. Let me just demonstrate. Here's a metal surface. It sticks to it, but <laughs> just pull it off with relative ease. So if you were on anything that was of remotely decent size in there, you would not be able to. Tucker's got his big guy that he's running down through here seeing. Let's see, what'd you get? Oh, some fishing hooks and everything. Yeah, so I went down all through the same exact area here and just didn't get any of that stuff. So I think that's the other thing. Like smaller size things. Look at the size comparison here. Oh, don't. There. I mean, it's about an eighth of the size of it. So, you know, you got to be right over top of something with this $3.69 magnet. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, wow, look at that, man. That's a, wow, that's a, nice that's a nice spoon there. Yeah, see, right in that spot where, wow, that's nice. We can clean that up. It's a nice lure. It's a six, seven dollar lure right there. Nice. Right where I was with my little guy there. <laughs> You get what you pay for. Oh, see? Now that was the chain I was trying to pull out. All right, so there's a good example. The chain is hooked to that board there. I was trying to pull it out with my magnet and it couldn't. Just kept popping off of there. There's another hook. He just, with ease, pulled that out with his 1,200 pound pull. So I think the verdict is pretty much in here with this <laughs> cheapest magnet, fishing magnet on Amazon. Okay, bolt, a screw. So I caught some of that, right? Yeah. 
but still not much. not much this is picking up all sorts of stuff another issue is because it's so small and weightless I'm uh, having a very hard time throwing it out any amount of distance <laughs> so um, you know that's another potential problem so I've tried this for the last 20 minutes here or so and I think I'm just about done with it <laughs> to be honest with you so <laughs> Tucker's getting some nice finds a lot of fish hooks this spoon lure that's a pretty decent find it's in actually pretty good shape there so he's getting some decent stuff out of there with his actual magnet what's my overall verdict of our three dollar and 69 cent magnet from amazon it's absolute trash <laughs> don't even bother <laughs> I did catch something, a couple bolts here and there, but uh, it just does not have anywhere near the strength for you to even pull anything out. Could you use it for something else? Like, you know, to hang curtains from or something if you had a metal, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. I mean, I could probably find some use for it, but for magnet fishing, no, absolutely not. Terrible, <laughs> terrible. Oh, so. Uh, if you're looking for a magnet fishing magnet, spend more than $3.69 on it, I would say, okay? If you want uh, to see more magnet fishing videos, check out our magnet fishing playlist there. If you've made it this far, you can subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, it's free to do, and you can always unsubscribe later. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.